Hello all, welcome to part 21 of TestNG training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate how to create subcategory groups in TestNG and thereafter use regular expressions with the subcategories. So till now, that is still the previous sessions, I covered how to, how to create the category groups, right? There are multiple ways to create the category groups, okay? Either using multiple test and XML files, or we can provide uh, groups using the groups attribute we can use in at the rate test, annotated test methods, or at the class level we can do, right? Where we can create the category groups. And we can further divide these category groups into subcategories, okay? There is a possibility of dividing these categories into multiple subcategories, those I am calling them as subcategory groups. Let me practically demonstrate, guys. You will understand what exactly are these subcategory groups. So, and also with these subcategory groups, how to use the regular expressions for our needs and requirements. That also I am going to cover in this session. So let's get started, guys. Partial groups is completed in the previous session. Now current session is subcategory groups. Okay. So what are the subcategory groups here? As you can see here, this is not a single group. It is a subcategory. Under Windows category group, we are creating a subcategory known as smoke. Again, under the same Windows, we are creating another subcategory known as sanity. Under Windows operating system, that is which need to be run on Windows operating system, again, we are going to create a subcategory known as regression. This is an example of a subcategory, guys, okay? Depending on your requirements, you will be creating the subcategories, guys. Depending on your requirement, you will be creating the subcategories and how to work with testng xml file with the subcategories all those things i am going to cover first let's go to the eclipse ide where the project is available uh, and uh, and guys before going through this session hope you have already gone through grouping of the tests using multiple testng xml files grouping the tests in testng groups attribute meta groups and partial groups okay and uh, once you are done with this now we can easily understand what exactly are the subcategory groups Okay, I, I recommend everyone to watch in a series rather than directly jump to the subcategory groups category. Okay, fine. Anyhow, anyhow, so let's create this uh, subcategory groups. If I open this login.java, here smoke is there, sanity is there, regression is there. For example, this one is, this test can be run on Windows. Okay, Windows. Windows.smoke, I'll say. Okay, this is related to Windows.smoke, I'll say. Okay, this test is specially will run on the Windows machine only. So I'm just giving giving a category known as Windows and subcategory known as smoke. Here, Windows dot sanity. Here, Windows dot regression, okay? Just for the example, guys, don't think much. Just understand, okay, how to use subcategory groups and all, okay? Windows dot login like that I'm giving. And here, again, Windows dot sanity, I will say. Windows dot sanity, okay? Here also windows dot login. So here I'll say iOS dot login. Here also I'll say iOS dot smoke, iOS dot sanity, iOS dot regression. Okay, like this. Here last one. Here I'll say Linux dot sanity, Linux dot regression. Okay, like this I gave. So you see. Some of the tests are going to be run on Windows. Some of the tests are going to be run on uh, iOS. Some of the tests are meant for Linux machine. Similarly, in other tests also, I'll do the same thing. Here I'll say iOS.smoke, iOS.sanity, iOS.register, uh, regression, sorry. Here, Linux.smoke, Linux.regression, and here, Windows.sanity, Okay, windows.sanity, here also windows.sanity. Okay, so randomly I'm giving some windows, some iOS, some Linux, okay. Here in the search also I'll do the same thing. I'll say windows.smoke, windows.smoke. It is a category and smoke is a subcategory, okay. Windows.sanity, windows.sanity, windows.regression. Okay, some places I gave regression, some places that's fine no problem uh, windows dot sanity 
windows dot regression okay then here i'll say linux dot sanity linux dot uh, regression like this i gave okay so in all the classes there are some windows related tests okay so what if i have to run only windows smoke the test which has to run on a windows operating system and the two they should be smoke so I have a subcategory now so i'll go to the testng.xml file guys okay so here there are multiple tests okay so i'll try at the group level guys okay suit level to see like uh, if will it will be applied or not i'll write groups here groups at suit level i'm trying this okay the concept is same right so you can uh, apply it to the suit level or the test tag level everything is fine run tag you just provide the run tag and say include when you're trying to include earlier you are only providing the category name like smoke or sanity like that you are providing earlier you are providing like smoke this time i'll be providing windows dot smoke okay windows dot smoke only you have to run only the tests from this login register and search which are related to the windows operating system and and that too they are of smoke type those only should be running for example if you go to login here this is windows smoke so here this is not smoke so it will not be considered and uh, this is ios it will not be considered only one test will be running from the login if i go to the register guys anywhere windows smoke it is ios smoke so it will not be work linux smoke windows sanity no windows sanity no no test will run from register because that category is not there but in search again windows smoke is there second test two te overallly there are only two tests which fall into this um, category and subcategories okay so i'll run this i'll right click and uh, run as uh, test in the suit you see here what will happen only two tests one smoke windows smoke test from login and one windows smoke test from search and what if i give windows dot sanity here i want to not only include smoke but also i want to include windows sanity this time sanity okay so this time all the tests which are related to windows operating system which can run on windows operating system but uh, belong to both subcategories like smoke and sanity will run more tests will come this time more tests will run this time but all are all should be related to windows guys okay you see from register two tests login two tests and search two tests okay are related to windows let's find it out whether that is the same thing or not so let me close this so that it will come up so you see windows smoke windows sanity two tests this is ios and linux they will not be considered only windows related here ios not considered linux not considered windows sanity will be considered windows sanity two more tests from register and from search windows smoke windows sanity two more tests that means total six tests in the output let's see whether we got six tests yes okay two from register two from login two from search and what if i want to uh, just give me a second guys let me go there is a spelling mistake here somewhere uh, windows regression is fine login anywhere uh, yeah this is fine this is fine let's go to the register so here s is missing guys okay let me add s proper s also regression okay small spelling mistake in this register file in search yeah it's fine 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 okay so this time i want to also include windows related i'm not running something related to ios or something guys okay only the things which can run on windows operating system from different subcategories like smoke uh, sanity and uh, regression i am running okay multiple things okay multiple things now this time smoke will run sanity test will run regression but all should belong to windows ios and linux test will not run okay we have to exclude the ios and linux only windows related smoke sanity and regression will run again the same six test came let's find it out here windows smoke windows sanity and remaining are ios related and linux so only two tests will be running here this is ios so linux smoke sorry will not run and uh, windows sanity and uh, here windows regression let's say okay they are running only two tests from here also last two tests and coming to the search windows smoke windows sanity these two tests are running here this one is linux what if you want uh, to hear multiple here guys i have provided multiple include tags instead of doing that we can follow a regular expression where instead of writing this many i'll just provide dot hash trick symbol hash trick symbol star or hash trick whatever you call that means any subcategory but that is should run on windows okay only the it can be smoke it can be sanity it can be regression or it can be anything but that is 
belong to the windows main category and sub category can be anything okay there we are going to use the regular expressions this much is enough of learning the regular expressions in test and e test okay all the six tests as usual two from register two from login two from search will run what if you want to run something from linux then linux dot hashtag it can be linux dot smoke or linux dot sanity or linux dot recreation whatever it may be it will be running now run this how many tests will run let's see three tests guys okay let's see let's go to the login close this let's go to the login and see how many are from login linux this is windows windows ios ios only one test is from login yeah so in the output let's see whether only one test from login came yes login without providing credential last test that's correct register uh for register uh we have ios this is okay this is linux so it will run linux dot anything guys linux dot anything only one test from register guys that is uh, register by providing all fields register by providing all fields has been run from register and from search windows windows linux uh search without any search term search without any search time okay that's game similarly ios also you can do guys ios uh, similarly say simply say ios dot hashtag here say ios dot hashtag save this run this right click run as test and results okay so register login login okay so you see for ios uh, ios test may not be there in search that's why we didn't get from login uh, here one ios second ios two test got run, run from login from register first test is uh, ios so only one test from register okay one test from register two test from login that's fine and from search there are no ios only windows and linux are there so no test from search this how we can create sub category groups okay and also we can use regular expressions in the sub category groups if the sub category can be anything then we can provide a hashtag symbol here that's what i am talking about so hope guys you understood how to create sub category groups in test ng and how to use regular expressions in place of sub categories and uh, how to run the different uh, automation tests annotated with the iterative test annotation uh, in test ng before the methods okay how to run them selectively by using the sub category groups okay that i covered in this session so that's all for this session in the next session i am going to cover another test ng topic for you till then see you bye bye